Hey YouTube, I'm back with another Animal Crossing video. Let me just first say that this video applies to southern islands only, so if you're playing on a northern island, most of this video is not going to apply to you. So it just hit December a couple days ago, and there's lots of fish and insects to catch this month. Depending on when you got the game and how long you've been playing, um, many of them will be new to you, some of them have been on your island before. So in order, I'll cover bugs, then sea creatures, then fish, and then I'll wrap up the video with one insect that will only be available in the month of December for southern islands. So if you're trying to 100% your museum, you definitely won't want to miss that. Oh, one last note. For each item covered in this video, I will offer brief details of varying significance, whether it's the rarity of something or if it sells for a notable amount of bells and so on. Okay, so first up here we have the Emperor Butterfly. It's listed as rare, but if you play regularly, you're going to run into one of these, especially if you have a lot of flowers on your island. And chances are, if you've been playing for a while, you've already caught one. Unless you've time traveled, this will be the first time the drone beetle has shown up for southern islands. It hangs around on tree trunks, is common, but only fetches 200 bells. This is the Goliath beetle, and as you can see, he likes to hang around on tree trunks. Somewhat rare, but not, you know, difficult. I, I didn't have to run around a lot to find one. It does sell for 8,000 bells, so it's going to be one of those ones that you're going to try and catch every time you see one. Next up is this rainbow stag, and this is a very similar situation to the Goliath beetle. It sells for 8,000 bells, it hangs out on tree trunks at night, and it's listed as rare, but with a little effort, you should be able to find one. Next up is the bane of my existence in the real world, mosquitoes. Not a whole lot notable going on here. They're commonly found. They don't sell for a lot of bells. They are a little bit hard to see because of how small they are, but that's really about it. This is the first of five sea creatures featured in the video. These are sea grapes. Nothing really notable. They're common. They don't sell for a lot of bells. And as you can see, they're available all day. So if you're looking for sea creatures, you're going to find one of these pretty much right away. This is the Gazami crab. Pretty unremarkable. It's easy to catch. It's available all day. It's common. And it sells for 2,000 bells, I believe. Next up, we have the Mussel, I believe, and like the others so far, it's available all day, it's easy to catch, common, and there appears to be a bit of a trend developing here. This is the Abalone, which is uncommon, so you might have to grind a little bit for it. It is only available from 4 p.m. to 9 a.m. Last but not least is the Tiger Prawn, which is also available from 4 p.m. until 9 a.m. The Tiger Prawn is rare, so expect to spend a fair amount of time finding one. Alright, moving on to fish now, and we have the Tilapia. This is a medium-sized river fish. It's available all day. It's common, so shouldn't have much trouble finding one of these at all. Next up is the piranha, which is a small-sized river fish. The piranha is rare, so don't expect to catch it on your first cast. It's available from 9 a.m. to 4 p.m., and then again from 9 p.m. to 4 a.m. This cool-looking, extra-large, rare river fish is called arowana. It's available from 4 p.m. to 9 a.m. and fetches 15,000 bells. More if you wait for CJ to visit your island and sell it to him instead. This one is the Gar, 
which is a rare extra large pond dwelling fish available from 4 p.m. to 9 a.m. and fetches 6,000 bells. Next up we have the massive Arapaima, which is an extra extra large, very rare river dweller from 4 p.m. to 9 a.m. and worth 10,000 bells. If you're like me and you have a hard time distinguishing between extra large and extra extra large fish shadows, it's probably worth fishing them up as they're usually rare and usually worth a lot of bells. This is the saddled beecher, be beecher, bitcher. That can't be right. Anyway, it's very rare, available from 9 p.m. to 4 a.m., and fetches a modest 4,000 bells. All right, and now we're starting to get into the ocean fish, starting with this ribbon eel here, which has a distinct longer shadow. It's available all day, and it's considered rare, but I didn't have too much trouble finding one. Unfortunately, it only sells for 600 bells, so you're probably not going to want to catch more than one. Here we have the Suckerfish, which has the finned shadow profile. It has an all-day availability, is considered rare, and will fetch you a measly 1500 bells. This monster here is the Great White Shark. It is a large finned shadow, and you're going to want to wait until after 4 p.m. before trying to catch this sucker. It's rare, so you might have to dedicate some time to track one down, but it's certainly a cool addition to the aquarium, and uh, if you can catch more than one, they fetch 15,000 bells, so definitely worth it. The hammerhead shark seen here is a finned shadow, is very rare, and fetches 8,000 bells. Just like the great white shark before, you'll want to wait until 4 p.m. before trying to catch this one. This is the saw shark, which is also available after 4 p.m. And apparently all the sharks have the same shadow profile, which is just a finned shadow. So regardless of how big they are when you pull them out of the water, they all have the same shadow size. Um, but the saw shark fetches 12,000 bells and is considered very rare. It's always a little alarming to see your character pulling out this massive whale with just this little puny fishing rod. But I digress. This is the whale shark. It has the finned shadow profile, is considered very rare, and will fetch you 13,000 bells. And now, just a little fishing tip. Sharks will appear more frequently when it rains, so take advantage. Also, this very rare sea lecanth can be fished up only when it's raining. I had no idea this fish was even in the game, so I was very surprised when I reeled it in. This beautiful golden river fish is called the Dorado. You can fish it up from 4 a.m. to 5 p.m., and it has an extra large shadow. It's considered rare, but I had pretty good luck fishing up multiples of these, which is a good thing because they sell for 15,000 bells. This is the final fish for the video. It is the giant snakehead, which is a rare, large pond dwelling fish that sells for 5,500 bells. It is available from 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. This is the final segment of the video, and as promised, I will be showing you the one insect that will only be available in the month of December for southern islands. The December exclusive insect is the firefly, and it's really kind of an unremarkable bug. It's very common. I, I think at one point I was walking down a stretch of river and there were five of them so you're not gonna have a hard time finding them and the only thing you really have to consider with them is that they don't start showing up until 7 p.m. and they only sell for 300 bells so after you catch your first one and donate it to the museum you're probably going to ignore the rest but 
Go catch it. It's an easy catch. This concludes the video. Thank you so much for watching. Feel free to leave a question or comment below, as always, in the comments section. And if you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe. Stay safe, everyone. Until the next time.